The first thing that communities can do to welcome interfaith families is encourage them to tell their stories because often families with multiple religious bonds have been kind of trained by society to represent themselves as having one label. And if you encourage them, share, give them space to tell stories, you will hear the nuances, the complexities, all of these actually very enriching streams that that family is bringing to your community. A second thing that you can do is to be aware of the Christian roots of your community, if it has Christian roots, those words like church, minister, mission, do act as barriers sometimes for family members who come from non-Christian religious traditions. If your community decides to use those words, that's of course your choice, but be aware that those things can cause a barrier. The third thing that you can do as a community is to find mentors for a new interfaith family. Find elders, mentors in your community who are interfaith, who can support a new family and talk about how they went through life cycle transitions, how they drew on their complex religious heritage within the context of your community. And that can be a great support for a family that's not sure how to negotiate your community as an interfaith family. And the fourth thing you can do is to make space for families to celebrate, uplift the complexity of their heritage. In a lot of society, interfaith families have been taught that being an interfaith family is a problem, it's a challenge, you know, everything negative about it. And to the degree to which your community can be one that celebrates, that uplifts, that benefits from an interfaith family, that sees an interfaith family as potential leaders, as teachers, as resources, then the family's going to benefit and your community's going to benefit as well.